Belgium is preparing to reach a major milestone in its air combat modernization as the country's first four F-35A Lightning II stealth fighters are scheduled to arrive at Florence Air Base on October 13, 2025. This delivery represents the conclusion of a seven-year procurement and development program, marking the transition of the Belgian air component into the fifth-generation fighter era. The arrival of these aircraft is not only a fleet update but also a strategic enabler. It triggers conditions for Belgium to begin transferring its MLU-upgraded F-16AM-BM jets to Ukraine, aligning with coalition plans and signaling Brussels' commitment to support Kiev while maintaining NATO operational readiness. The F-35A is expected to revolutionize Belgium's fighter capabilities. Lockheed Martin's fifth-generation platform combines a low-observable airframe with advanced sensor fusion, including the N-APG-81 AESA radar, electro-optical targeting and surveillance systems, and a comprehensive electronic warfare suite. These systems, integrated with secure high-bandwidth data links, allow pilots to generate and share a single tactical picture with allied forces in real time. For Belgium, this capability provides earlier threat detection, lower exposure to advanced air defense systems, and enhanced interoperability with NATO assets. The initial squadron, the first squadron at Florence, will lead operations before expansion to Klein Bragel, with full quick reaction alert readiness targeted for 2027. During this transition, Belgium will retain its fleet of F-16AM-BM aircraft to ensure continuous air policing and expeditionary operations. These MLU standard aircraft, equipped with Link-16 data links, helmet-mounted queuing systems, and compatibility with precision-guided munitions and AMRAAM missiles, have long been the backbone of Belgian fighter operations. They have participated in multiple NATO missions, from enforcing no-fly zones over Libya in 2011 to supporting operations against ISIS in Iraq and Syria from 2014 to 2021. The operational experience gained over decades of deployments informs Belgium's approach to integrating the F-35A into its force structure while ensuring that the F-16 fleet remains available for both national defense and allied commitments. Belgium's decision to invest in the F- 35A was finalized in 2018, with the first aircraft used for pilot conversion training in the United States. The initial home-based delivery of four aircraft is part of a broader plan to acquire a total of 34 jets, with a follow-on order of 11 additional aircraft recently approved. The total program value, including infrastructure and support, is estimated at between €3 Euros and €0.80 cents and €4 billion Euros for the initial contract and approximately €1.50 Euro to €1.70 Euro billion for the follow-on buy. This investment reflects Belgium's intention to meet and exceed NATO's defence spending benchmark of 2% of GDP, ensuring both fleet modernization and the capacity to contribute meaningfully to Allied operations. The F 35A offers capabilities that distinguish it from 4.5 generation fighters such as the Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale. While both Typhoon and Rafale have matured sensor and electronic protection systems, neither couples these capabilities with a very low observable airframe designed to operate within dense integrated air defense systems. The F 35A's combination of stealth, sensor fusion, and network connectivity allows it to penetrate contested environments, act as a force-multiplying battle network node, and provide a richer, more integrated operational picture to NATO command structures. For Belgium, this translates into a more robust deterrent posture in the Benelux and Northern European corridors, complementing broader NATO air defense initiatives. For Ukraine, the strategic implications of Belgium's fleet update are immediate and significant. Belgian F-16AM-BM aircraft, once released, will integrate seamlessly into a coalition ecosystem already supported by Denmark, the Netherlands, and Norway. Standardized mission systems, including Link-16, NATO IFF Mode 5, and compatibility with AMRAAM and other Western precision-guided munitions, simplify training, maintenance, and operational readiness. This standardization enables Ukraine to sustain and expand sortie generation, 
conduct defensive counter-air and standoff strike missions, and, if integrated properly, execute suppression of enemy air defenses. The Belgian government has outlined a phased approach to the transfer, with two aircraft designated for cannibalization in 2025 and the first operational jets expected to reach Ukraine in 2026, contingent on the full arrival and operational readiness of the F-35 fleet at home. The handover of F-16s to Ukraine is closely tied to Belgium's F-35A arrival. Defense Minister Theo Franken has publicly stated that the delivery of the first home-based F-35s is the key condition for releasing aircraft to Kiev. The approach balances Belgium's national security needs, NATO obligations, and the coalition's requirements for supporting Ukraine. By leveraging its modernized fleet, Belgium strengthens NATO's northern air policing and nuclear sharing posture while simultaneously enabling Kiev to field additional combat-ready aircraft. The timing of the first deliveries, ceremonial arrivals, and operational ramp-up reflects a carefully coordinated strategy designed to maintain continuous air defense coverage in Europe while contributing to Ukraine's long-term combat capability. Budgetary and strategic considerations have also shaped Belgium's fighter recapitalization program. The government has committed significant resources to acquire a fleet capable of sustaining NATO operations into the late 2020s and beyond. By retaining F-16s in service during the F-35 transition, Belgium ensures uninterrupted mission coverage, continuity of pilot training, and the integration of new infrastructure and mission systems. At the same time, the F-35A provides Belgium with a forward-looking capability designed to address modern air threats, enhance alliance interoperability, and serve as a deterrent in the increasingly tense NATO-Russia security environment. Belgium's experience with F-16 operations underscores the value of this dual-track approach. Belgian F-16s have proven versatile in precision strike, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and force protection missions across multiple theaters. By transitioning to the F-35 while gradually releasing F-16s to Ukraine, Belgium leverages past operational expertise to meet both national and allied objectives. The dual-track strategy allows for continuity of air operations, modernized capability, and coalition support in a coordinated and sustainable manner. The arrival of the first F-35A jets is also symbolic. It signals Belgium's commitment to NATO's collective security framework and highlights the country's willingness to contribute to Allied air power while supporting Ukraine's defense modernization. By unlocking the transfer of F-16s, Belgium reinforces the coalition's efforts to provide Ukraine with capable aircraft while ensuring that national and regional air defense requirements are maintained. The operational and symbolic dimensions of this milestone underscore the complexity of modern air power planning, where strategic decisions must balance domestic readiness, alliance obligations, and international security considerations. In summary, Belgium's first F. 35A deliveries represent a turning point in the country's fighter recapitalization program. The aircraft bring advanced stealth, sensor fusion, and networking capabilities that strengthen NATO's air deterrence posture while enabling the release of F-16AM-BM jets to Ukraine. This phased, dual-track approach ensures that Belgium maintains continuous operational readiness, enhances alliance interoperability, and supports coalition objectives. As the first F-35s take their place in Belgian squadrons, the arrival not only marks the start of a new era for the air component but also signals the beginning of a new chapter in European air power dynamics and Ukraine's defense modernization efforts.